Grace is Thomas. I'm studying in grade 1 Miss Han's class. Have you ever wondered how does it rain or how the clouds are formed? I think the water cycle will explain the answers for my question. I researched about the water cycle and I made a poster and a model to show. As we all know, 71% of Earth's total area is covered in water. The sun heats up the water in the rivers and oceans and it comes up as water vapor. That is called evaporation. When the water vapor reaches up in the sky, it turns into tiny water droplets. These water droplets and dust come together to make clouds. This is called condensation. These clouds can move around. They can collect more water as they move. So when they have no more space to get water, they burst out water or hail or snow. This is called precipitation. Precipitated water goes and is collected in rivers, oceans, and lakes. Thus, the water cycle is the continuous process of evaporation, condensation, and precipitation. I'm going to do an experiment to show the water cycle. For the experiment, we need a bowl, some ice cubes, a lid, and hot water. So first, you're taking the bowl and you're going to put hot water into the bowl. Okay, so if you notice very carefully, you can see water vapor coming out. That is called evaporation. In the nature, the sun heated the water, but here I'm using hot water. And now let's get the lid. So I'm going to put a few ice cubes onto the lid. And now you're going to put the lid on top of the hot water. And wait for a few seconds. So now let's open it. If you look closely at the lid, you can see the water droplets on it, so condensation happened. So see, the water is raining down into the bowl. Precipitation happened. You know why? Because the water got heavy and the water fell down into the bowl. So what did we observe from the experiment? We observed the three stages of the water cycle. Evaporation, condensation, and precipitation. Thank you!